Hello again. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload sentiment survey data into AMI Broker. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to the AAII.com website. So it's AAII.com. And then if you click on sentiment survey, scroll to the bottom here and you can see that there's a download historical data button. So click on that and it will save the data to a spreadsheet. If you open up the spreadsheet, click Enable Editing. And the first thing we want to do is to copy and paste the data from columns A, B, C and D starting in row 8. So first of all, select all the data, right click, click on Copy. If you open up a new sheet and then paste the data. And what we have here is we have the dates in column A. We have the percentage of investors that were surveyed who were bullish in column B. We have the percentage of investors surveyed who were neutral in column C. And we have the percentage of investors surveyed who were bearish in column D. Now, as you'll see, Excel has transformed the dates into these codes. So we need to reformat these codes so they tell us the actual dates again. So to do that, just select all of the data in column A and then using the drop down box at the top of Excel here, click on short date. So now we can see we have the actual dates. The next thing that you'll want to do is in cell F1 type equals text open bracket, then select cell A1 comma quote marks. And what we're going to do is remove the forward slashes from these dates in column A. So type in YYYY MMDD, quotation marks again, and then close the brackets. And then if you press enter, you can see we have the date formatted without the forward slashes. So select cell F1 and then click the little black box and drag it all the way down. Now we have all of the dates in column F. Now the next thing we need to do is to place a comma behind each of these dates. So in cell G, just type in equals F1, the AND symbol, quote mark, comma, quote mark, press enter. And now you can see we have the date followed by a comma. So again, just drag that all the way down to the end of the data set. And then to begin with, we are going to upload the percentage of investors surveyed who are bullish. We're going to upload that data to AMI Broker. So select all of the data in column B, which is the bullish column, right click, copy it. And then in cell H, just right click, paste the values. And then finally, we're going to make all the values in column H to two decimal places. So when column H is selected, just right click, click format cells come to number, select two decimal places, click OK. So we now have our data, we have the dates in column G and in column H we have the percentage of people surveyed who were bullish. So select all of the data in columns G and H, right click, copy, and then if you open a new notepad, so what we're going to do is transform this to a text file. Right click, paste, here we can see we have the dates in this column and the values in this column. If we save this text file as AAII, and remember this is the bullish percent, so we'll call it AAII bullish percentage, save the file, and then if we come to AMI Broker, click File, click Import Wizard, pick files, Select that text file that you just saved, click on open, click next, and you can see there's a data file sample here. So we have the dates and then we have the value. So in column one, we have the dates and the format we used was year, month, day. In column two, we have the value, so we can use close. And then there's no data in any of these other columns. So just select skip, allow negative prices, no quotation data, and we'll send the data to the unassigned group, but obviously you can select a different group or watch list or whatever it may be. Click on next, click finish, and then to find the data, 
if you just come to the symbols and Ami broker click on all and then remember we called that our AAII bullish percentage so there it is and there you can see the sentiment survey results so this is the percentage of investors who were bullish about the market during the week that the survey was conducted so to transform this into an indicator what we can do is if we first just open up a chart of the market so let's look at the SPX index and then if we come to charts and then basic charts and we can open a price foreign tab and then what we want to analyze is that AAII data that we just uploaded into AMI broker so it was called AAII bullish percentage click OK and there you can see the values now the, th the next thing that I like to do rather than just looking at these dots is if we drag a moving average into the data and set that to one period you can now see it more as like an oscillator so if we just zoom on in a little though there's a couple of interesting things we can immediately see the most bullish investors have ever been according to this survey was right at the beginning of 2001 and as you can see that was absolutely a terrible time to be very bullish about the market because we all know what happened when the Nasdaq bubble burst we had this horrendous sell-off so they were very very bullish at one of the worst possible times that they could have been now another thing that we can do is look at the percentage of investors that were bearish so you can follow all of the same steps as before or we can just come to that spreadsheet that we're already working on the data in column D is the percentage of bearish investors so highlight all of column D copy it paste that into column H again change it to two decimal places and just follow the same steps just select all of the data from columns G and H copy it open a new notepad paste the data and then we'll save this as AAII bearish click save come back to AMI broker click file import wizard pick files AA bearish this time click next and we have the date which is YMD the value so we select close we skip all of these other columns we allow negative prices we'll say no quotation data click on next click finish and here we can see the symbol AAII bearish so if we have another foreign price chart in our chart window and this time we'll look at AAII bearish again if we use a one period moving average to make the data easier to analyze because if we look at this bottom pane here this is telling us the percentage of investors surveyed who were bearish about the market so let's look at some high values when 60 percent of investors surveyed were bearish so if we look at the um, first or second week of March 2009 that was the highest ever percentage of people surveyed that were bearish about the market so 70% of those surveyed were bears and that was literally the exact bottom of the market after the financial crisis of 08 and being able to plot that historical sentiment survey data into AMI broker just gives you some historical perspective on how investors were thinking about the market during certain periods of time now if we look at more recently there aren't really any extremes and what you can do is plot some Bollinger Bands on the data so if I drag over some Bollinger Bands so these are weekly charts remember so if we look at a year's worth of data so 52 weeks click OK and then the, the bands plot two standard deviations above and below the 52 week average of the sentiment survey values and uh, even if we look most recently remember this bottom pane here is, is telling us the percentage of people surveyed who were bearish uh, and if we look there were a couple of spikes at the beginning of 2016 so nearly 50 percent of those surveyed were bears and again as you can see there's been a very nice little rally since that happened so anyway i hope this video has helped uh, thanks very much for watching and i'll speak to you in the next video take care